Well, Asheville's restaurant community is coming together to help one of their own. Jason Crosby was recently diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. He's no longer able to work at The Junction, a restaurant in the River Arts District, and he has no insurance. Well, now fellow bartenders are rallying to raise money. New Searching's Emma Wright joins us. Jason Crosby has a young family, Emma. He does. Jason Crosby has a four-year-old daughter and a baby on the way. His friends and co-workers say they're doing everything they can to make things a little easier. Jason Crosby was a creator of cocktails, master bartender at the Junction in Asheville. It takes a lot of, of being able to, to step into this environment and say, okay, I'm going to put everything to the side, I'm going to entertain you. Now his friends and fellow bartenders are entertaining for him, serving drinks to help Crosby, who was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer on Valentine's Day. I was here with uh, my seven-year-old daughter and uh, we greeted him at the at the car and he said he had gotten the worst news that he could have gotten. The fundraiser is called Painkillers for a Pancreas. 21 bartenders in a matter of days. It really has only been days and so what that says about Asheville is just we have such a strong community here. Next week, participating bartenders will donate all of their tips during a designated shift. Cynthia Turner is spearheading the effort. You would just tip big if you feel like tipping big for the benefit. Charles Triber, Crosby's former boss, says the amount of support is overwhelming. I don't know if, if the response would be like this in another town, you know? It, 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 it would be hard to believe. Triber says the 43-year-old is taking things day by day. I saw him this week and his spirits are pretty good. But they've done chemo and they're doing chemo and he seems to, he has great days and then he has some bad, but other than that, we're all so very hopeful. And thankful for every dollar donated. Now, the Junction is also holding a benefit dinner next Wednesday. You can find more information about the fundraiser in the news link section of WLOS.com.